Israeli security guards stabbed and seriously wounded at Jerusalem bus station. Israeli police say that a security guard has been stabbed near Jerusalem's central bus station. Police spokesman Mickey Rosenfeld says a guard was seriously wounded Sunday and his attacker arrested. The Majin David Adam Medical Service says a 30-year-old male suffered a stabbing wound in his upper body. The incident appeared to be the first attack since President Donald Trump's recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital. The announcement set off protests and demonstration across the West Bank, East Jerusalem and the Gaza Strip, and demonstrations around the world. Israel launched fresh air strikes on the Gaza Strip on Saturday in response to rocket fire. The Islamist group Hamas said the strikes had killed two of its gunmen. Meanwhile two more Palestinians were killed in further clashes on the Gaza border on Friday in a day of rage and scores more were wounded in the occupied West Bank during protests. In more than two years of intermittent attacks, Palestinians have killed more than 50 Israelis, two visiting Americans and a British tourist in stabbings, shootings and car ramming attacks. Israeli forces have killed more than 260 Palestinians in that time, mostly attackers. The Arab League warned that the decision to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital would deepen tension, ignite anger and threaten to plunge region into more violence and chaos. The 22 nations, including close U.S. allies, have urged Mr. Trump to reverse which they called a dangerous violation of international law and announced it would seek a United Nations Security Council resolution rejecting the move. Such a measure is unlikely to pass as the U.S. has a veto as a permanent member of the Security Council. Most countries have not recognized Israel's 1967 annexation of